Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey by subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell notification for new uploads. Thank you everyone for all your comments and all your support. I am gratefully humbled for every single one of you newcomers. I hope you enjoy um my art creation and become part of this family by subscribing. If you like my videos, please give it those thumbs up. It's very important to circulate. I also want to remind you guys that um, I would say at least the first 15 to 20 videos at the beginning of my channel, everything was very fresh for me. I didn't know the crochet codes. I did mention a few times already in a few videos that I didn't know the codes and it was only after that that I started learning them. Thank you, Nancy, um, from Canada that uh, she, Nancy Strand, she helped me a lot with the crochet codes. Thanks to her, I began to learn quite a bit um, how to name them. So please bear with the videos um, at the beginning that I didn't know any better how to explain the stitch but if you slow down the video up top on the three little buttons and if you put the closed caption this uh, on the cc right next to it the letters will appear in the bottom and if you pay attention you'll probably you know understand what i'm trying to explain how the stitch goes and unfortunately that's the way it was at the beginning but eventually it became, I became better and became more knowledge with the codes and then started creating uh, videos with more experience. Thank you so much, Nancy, and thank you to everybody for having patience with it. So, um, again, if you need to slow down the video because it's too fast or you're not understanding, you're more of a person that takes notes on things, the best thing is to slow down the video by clicking up top of the three little buttons. And you can slow down to the speed you'd like and also turn the CC on and the letters will appear underneath here as I'm speaking and you can take notes and create it from there. Okay, so I created this new doily again for Christmas. You can go as big as you like by adding more rows here at the beginning. And I'm going to use a different color just so you can see the different effect that it will have on the doily when you create it you know if you create in the green red and white obviously it's going to stand out Christmas if you create into different colors well then you know it's going to be you know completely different uh, game so this is 80% uh, cotton thread uh, Beatrice as you see Brabant and 20% different fibers okay so I will be most probably using uh, these colors to see the outstand of it. Okay, and uh, this is a four ply, so I'll be using, but it's a little bit thicker four ply than my regular four ply on, on Ladybug. Okay, so I'll be using a four, four and a half. Um, a hook and of course a smaller one to tuck loose ends and a pair of scissors okay um, please do share my channel it helps to uh, have other people recognize it and be part of this journey with me um, I hope I'm not forgetting anything sometimes I forget some stuff that I remember going through as I'm going with the video and then I mentioned also please look ahead of the video before you create anything in case there's a change on something or um, a mistake then we can correct it on the spot and usually I don't add it I show the mistake and show you how to correct it because you can end up doing the same mistake and then you know get stressed out and, and take it down and we could avoid taking it down if we know how to correct it the right way okay so we're gonna get started on that everyone thank you so much again so the first thing you want to do is that magic circle for some of you that still have a hard time with it you can do a uh, chain four or chain five depending upon your stitch if it's too tight or too loose 
and if your stitch is too tight remember to use a bigger hook a size bigger than your usual so we're going to do chain four and i say chain four because we need three for double crochet and one for turning inside of this uh, magic circle we're going to do 12 a total of 12 double crochet that includes with the first chain okay and I think it's best that I take out this one because it becomes very hard to see the stitch. I wonder if I can, oh, I guess I can, okay. So, So we're going to do 12 double crochets all the way around. We're going to close it up on the third chain here with the slip stitch. Okay. See if I can brighten this up a little bit more. So we're going to close it up on the third chain. Like that with a slip stitch. Pull on our magic circle okay so now I'm going into the center between both double crochets with a single and two chain one more that equals a double crochet one more inside of the same space so we're gonna have two double crochet one chain separation next space two double crochet this thread is a little bit different than my regular thread that I use all the time so sometimes I have a hard time with it because I'm not used to working with this thread even though it's lovely to work with Okay, so two per space on each space, and then we're going to close it up with a slip stitch on the last one here at the end. This is row two. Okay, so I've changed hooks. I wonder if my, my crush is on. Okay, so I had mentioned we're going to close it up on the third chain, but we're not going to do that yet. That's why it's always good to look ahead of the video. So instead of doing chain one and closing it here, we're going to do a side um, half double crochet. So we can come right into the center of it, okay? And we're going to do one, two, for some of you, three chain, it will equal a double crochet. And now I'm going to do three double crochet per space now okay with one chain separation into the next space we're gonna create three double crochet per space so we're increasing shout out to my girls uh, both Karen's Karen Coffee, Karen Young, Nancy Strand, uh, Betty Sanders, um, Charmaine, uh, Ella, Lily, Lucy, um, there's a tons of you. I can't even remember half. But anyway, shout out to you girls, okay? Much love and much hugs. And row three, this is how it's going to be. And I made a mistake here already. Or did I? No, I didn't. It was just hidden. Good God. Don't you just love that? Okay, so three per space, people. The little one was hidden back here. I thought I had only done two. It has to be three. So separated by one chain. And then we're gonna do the same thing at the end. We're not gonna we're not gonna close it up with one chain and slip stitch. We're gonna do that half uh, double crochet sideways, okay? So we can end up in the center of the stitch, okay? So I've reached the end 
we are we are not doing that one chain we're going to do the half double crochet and we're going to take it all out so we can end up in the middle of that okay so now we're going to do four so we did one two i'm only going to do two but for some of you that your stitch is very tight do three chain so this is two double crochet already three and four double crochet one chain separation into the next space four this is rule four one chain separation and four double crochet so we're going to repeat this pattern this way and again when we get to the end we are doing the half double crochet sideways okay so we can end up in the middle again so I'll meet you at the end so we finished doing row four one two three four we're gonna do that half double crochet on the last chain here take it out at once okay and now we're going to do this will be a little bit different this row so chain two for some of you chain three I'm going to do two double crochets one chain separation come into not the first not the second right in the middle the third one and do two double crochets together Okay, one chain separation into the center of the square here. So we're doing groups of two now. One chain separation. Skip one, two, into the third one. That's right in the middle of the four. Two double crochet one chain separation into the square we're going to repeat this all the way to the end and we're going to do that half double crochet again sideways okay you guys um so what i did was i created this one already so you can have a feel how it looks like in different colors and I'm creating we're still on the same row so don't get confused so I'm creating in yellow then I'm going to do the green and I'll do the purple on the on the one here okay so one two three four row five we finished row five we're going into row six so going into row six one two three four five six so going into row six we're going to walk i call it the walk over to where we have the square with the single and then one two and then we're going to do three double crochets inside of the space now we're increasing one chain next space three double crochets And it's going to be like this all the way around. With one chain separation. Okay, so we're just going to repeat that like that. Okay, so we're going into row seven now. We're just going to lock it in. With a slip stitch on the third one and we're going to walk it I call it the walk to the center of the square here with a slip stitch here and a single on here to chain and now we're going to do four double crochet so we're increasing row seven we'll have four double crochet per um, inside each space of the square one chain separation and again four double crochet 
So as you can see, it gives it a different look on the different colors that you that you'll be using. So if you want to really like high end, then you go into you know you could use into the golds or the the lavender and things like that, which makes it very pretty. Also, pretty much on any color you'd like. Okay, so four double crochets and one chain separation. Okay, row seven. So we finished row seven, going into row eight. I'm going to do the walk to the square here again with a single, two chain, and I'm going to do two um double crochet one chain we're going to go into the center of the fort again and do two double crochet one chain separation into the square two double crochet one chain again we're coming into the sore skipping first second right in the middle which is the third double crochet we're doing two We're going to do that all the way around. So we finished row 8, going into row 9. Again, we're going to do the walk with the slip stitch into the center of the square and create, let me just check here, we're going to create 3 double crochets, so 2 chain. Three double crochets, one chain, and into the next space with three double crochets. Okay, and on the next row, we're doing only two double crochets. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're on nine, the tenth row will be only two double crochets. One chain, next space, three double crochet. And we're going to repeat this all the way around again. So we finished row nine. We're going into row ten. So I did the slip stitch, I did the walk with the single, and we're going to do two chain, and we're only going to do two double crochet. Now after this row, I'm cutting my thread, and I'm proceeding with the green. So if you're changing colors, we are changing right after this one. So two double crochet per space, one chain separation. into the square one chain two double crochet we're going to do this all the way around and then cut our thread if you're changing colors okay so i'll meet you at the end so for the people that did the magic circle we're just going to Pull in just go around a little bit and like this you're secure that nothing is going to come apart. Now if, you, if you're using a thicker thread or yarn, you can split your thread here or yarn in half. Okay. 
And this is going to work for me. Hold on. Pulled it all together. So let's split it in half. And you can give it a knot just to make sure that nothing's going to come apart. So I've done two knots on it. Give it a little pull and it should be good to go. So we're going to go into the green now. Now with the green, it's very simple. You can go anywhere. Just going to grab it right here. Single. Try to hide my thread at the same time. Chain two. Next space where we have the two double crochets, double. Inside of the space here, we're going to create two double crochets on top of the double crochet, double crochet. So very simple. This row is all about double crochets. Where we have the double crochet, we do double crochets and two in the center of the squares. We're going to repeat this all the way around. We do not cut the thread. We're going to continue with the green one more row. Okay. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we finished doing row 11. Going into row 12, so chain 3, next space double crochet, we're going to create groups of 5 double crochet, next space double crochet, that's 3, 4, and 5. I'm going to do one chain, if you need to do two chain separation, if your chain is too tight, then go ahead, then you can do two. We're going to skip one space and create the five double crochet groups again. Two, three, four. Neighbor's dogs are going nuts. Sorry about that, people. I have no control of that. Two, four, five. Okay, so five, one chain again. If you need to do two, then go ahead, skip one space, go into the next, and create five double crochets. And then after this, we can um, cut the thread. Or you can leave the thread on and work with the other thread if you're able to. Not everybody can work with two threads or one hanging and working with the other thread. Okay, so five groups. Double crochet one per space, skip one space and one chain or two chain separation for some of you that your stitch is too tight. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much finished doing all the green. Coming in with my yellow, this is the last row. So it's only singles. I'm grabbing back loops only with single. Trying to hide my thread, so back loops only. We can have that effect. And 
that's about it. So we're doing single crochets for each uh, back loop. And I will leave the measurements of all three. Well, all three, no, because this is the same size as the purple. So that's a little bit smaller because the thread is thinner. So it becomes smaller. And same stitch. It's just that this thread is thicker. It's a different thread than that one. Okay. Um, any questions, suggestions, you could always... Drop in on my Instagram. I'll leave everything below. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll leave it on display at the end. And thank you so much, everybody. Um, please give it those thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thank you, everyone. Take care. And be kind to yourself and others. Until next time, bye-bye.